Hello everyone! In this video, I will show how you can use the Post Analysis Interface and Finite Element Contours. First of all, let's go to the Post Analysis tab of the Building Analysis window and display the analytical model. As you see, the generated meshes are consistent with each other and they have been generated precisely regarding the mesh sizes that you inserted. Here, you will see some tools to review the internal forces of frame members, animation under vertical and lateral loads, and contours for shell elements after FE analysis. Let's start with the General tab. In this tab, you can open the settings and change the colors of the elements that are shown in the analytical model. To review FE slab results easily, you can filter stories and activate the plan view if it's needed. Of course, you can save the analytical model's pictures and copy them into other sources such as report files in Word format. In some cases, you may need to find the position of the knot within the analytical model. To do this, you just need to select the Find button and insert the node or frame numbers. Then, it will be shown with an arrow in the model. Once you hover over on the member, the relevant nodes, and the member name will be shown on the analytical model. If you have doubts about the connectivity of members, the Connectivity Issues feature will help you to clear out the fogs in your mind and it will automatically detect if there are any connectivity issues. With the Analysis Type button, different kinds of analysis can be reviewed as well. In the Members tab, you can filter nodes and frames by selecting the buttons here. You can also obtain the frame loads and their labels by selecting the frame loads and frame load label buttons. Let's dive into the content of the results tab. In this tab, you can activate the displacements and internal forces that can be seen in the analytical model. To review the displacements, you can select a load case or a load combination. In my case, I will select the EX load case and choose the X button to see the displacement in the X direction. Using animation for the first mode will provide you with the behavior of the structure. Lastly in this tab, I would like to show how we can display internal forces. To do this select a load case or load combination and then click on the diagrams button. After this, you can select the axial load, shear forces, and moment buttons. Of course, you can review the diagrams on member base by right-clicking and selecting the Detail Diagram button. You can also review the slab strip diagrams by selecting the slab strip. Then, you can right-click and select the slab strip diagram profile button. Here, you can review moments and displacements in any combination. Before the explanation of the contour tab, we can isolate a story by filtering options to review the contour features better. In the effects part of the contours tab, you can select the displacements, forces, moments, and required steel areas and the selected one will be shown on the analytical model. Let's select the required steel area and continue with this. You can activate the contours via these buttons. In the user-defined contours, you can determine the legend's values by yourself, and you can insert the known rebar areas to be able to review the FE model better. To use this feature, click on the Edit User Definitions and insert the desired reinforcement to be considered in the legend.
The threshold contour can show you the insufficient reinforcement of the slab regarding the maximum rebar area that you inserted. As you see, the inserted reinforcement area is fully sufficient for all the slabs in second story and slab zones are represented with green contour color for this reason. I would like to a bit talk about exporting FE contours. For this purpose, I am going to go to the visual interrogation and select the FE contours. Then if you just click on building analysis contour, you will see the generated contour schemes in this window. You can select the desired one and export it to the DXF environment by clicking on the Export DXF and DWG button. Lastly, the analytical model can be shared with the SAP 2000 in a tab software. To do this, you can go to the post analysis part of the building analysis and select the export buttons for SAP and the tabs. The files will be generated S2K text file for SAP 2000 and E2K text file for it tabs. In these softwares, you can use importing options regarding these file formats and obtain a model that includes all material properties, loads, load cases, and combinations, etc. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to Proto YouTube channel to hear about our latest tutorials and videos.